guys, it's a snowy day and I'm sipping herbal coffee. Hey everyone, this is Taz and welcome back to my channel. It's a snowy day today, so winter is in full swing. In fall and winter, almost every day I love to sip herbal coffee. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you guys the recipe for making my most favorite herbal coffee or basil coffee, or it's also called chukkapi. This is a popular herbal coffee in South India. So for making this coffee, I'll be adding the herb basil. However, in South India, the authentic way of making this coffee, we have to add tulsi leaves. So tulsi leaves are not available at my place. So that's why I'm adding basil leaves. Even basil belong to tulsi family and they both have phenomenal medicinal properties. So if you have tulsi leaves, uh, do add that. So along with basil leaves, I'll be also adding other uh, aromatic whole spices. So as soon as I sip this herbal coffee, it will open up my senses and I have this coffee when I have a cold or headache and it gives me instant relief. This is definitely a homemade remedy for cold uh, headaches or if you have sinus issues. So let's get started and let's make basil coffee or herbal coffee or chukka coffee. I have placed a saucepan over medium heat. So to the saucepan, I'm going to add three cups water. So I'm only going to make three cups. Next, let's add all the other ingredients. So here I have um, basil leaves. So these are the basil leaves I harvested from my herb garden in summer and I kept this in the freezer so it will stay fresh. So it's a bit wilted but it is really fresh um, and it's from my herb garden. So I'm going to add around 10 basil leaves. So if you have fresh basil leaves use that or if you have pulsi leaves add that. So I'm going to add, so this I took it from the freezer so that's why it's a bit wilted but doesn't matter. So I'm going to add around um, 10 basil leaves. So the basil will make this um, coffee really flavorful and aromatic. So next I'm going to add two whole cardamom. So what I'm going to do is in my mortar and pestle, so using the pestle, I'm going to slightly crush the whole cardamom. So I have two whole cardamom and I'm also adding two whole cloves. So let's slightly crush it so that all the flavor will get into the to this water. So add that and next ground cumin. So ground cumin I'm going to add quarter teaspoon. So we don't have to add a whole lot of these um, spices just quarter teaspoon ground cumin. Next, I'm going to add dried ginger. So here I have three inch sliced dried ginger. Uh, so I'm going to slightly crush this also and then add it to the water. So we have to add dried ginger. Um, so that will give a really nice uh, taste and aroma to this coffee. So next one, I'm going to add freshly ground um, black pepper. So this has to be fresh. This is around um, quarter to half teaspoon. So this will give a nice, um, you know, heat to this coffee. So it's based on your spice level, uh, you can add it. So I've added around um, quarter teaspoon. Next key ingredient that we have to add to this coffee is uh, jaggery or palm sugar. Uh, so here I have uh, a bottle full of uh, jaggery. I always have this in my pantry. I add it to my herbal coffee and instead of you know, white sugar, we can add this. Uh, this is very healthy. So this is made from sugar cane extracts. So it has um, a medicinal uh, properties. Uh, so please do add uh, uh, jaggery or palm sugar. You can find this at most of the uh, Asian stores or Indian stores. Uh, so this is like two inch or three inch sliced jaggery. So I'm going to slightly crush this. 
and then let's add this. So jaggery will um, impart a nice caramelized uh, taste to, to this coffee. So again, depending on your sweet level, you can add it. So I have added around three inch slice of uh, jaggery. Um, if you have uh, powdered uh, jaggery or palm sugar, you can also add that. Close the saucepan with a lid. So make sure there is no uh, vent on the lid. So close it and let this brew for 10 minutes. So that's when all the aroma and flavor from all these ingredients will get into the uh, water, especially the uh, basil leaves, and it will turn really flavorful and aromatic. So let it brew over medium heat for 10 minutes. After five minutes of brewing, I have lowered the heat and let it brew for five more minutes over low heat. It's been 10 minutes, so I'm going to open the lid. So as soon as we open the lid, um, we can smell the aroma of uh, basil, um, dried ginger, whole cardamom, cumin. It smells really uh, amazing here. So now uh, towards the end, we have to add instant coffee. So I'm going to add two teaspoons. So this is again based on how much coffee you want. You can add if you want to make it really strong you can add a little more so here i'm adding two teaspoon instant coffee and give it a good mix after adding the coffee we don't have to brew any longer so i'm going to turn off the heat and cover the saucepan with the lid so keep it covered for two to three minutes and after that we can strain this and enjoy this um, aromatic and healthy herbal coffee here is our herbal coffee. So I have brewed the coffee for 10 minutes, five minutes over medium heat and the remaining five minutes over low heat. And after that, I've added instant coffee and covered the saucepan with the lid and allowed it to sit for a few minutes. So now let's um, strain this coffee into mugs. Uh, so I'm going to open the lid. As soon as we open the lid, uh, you know, the aroma from basil leaves, cardamom and cloves, it, it's going to be amazing and it's going to instantly open up our senses. Here you go, guys. Oh, the smell is so mesmerizing and the coffee, uh, the fragrance of coffee. So let's strain this into mugs. Here you have it guys, our herbal coffee or basil coffee or chukka coffee. So let me take a sip. It's so flavorful and aromatic, it's packed with flavors. Um, so as soon as I sip this coffee, it opens up my senses. So today is a perfect day. It's a snowy cold day today. Uh, so I have to have this coffee. So whenever I feel cold, uh, if I have a headache or when I feel down, I have this coffee and I feel better right away. Uh, so it's an instant relief that we get. Um, I also poured this coffee into a transparent glass. So it looks uh, really beautiful. Look at that uh, nice vibrant color. Um, so for making this coffee, we have to add basil leaves or tulsi leaves. We cannot add any other kind of herbs. And instead of white sugar, we have to add jaggery or palm sugar. So all these ingredients are really healthy and have uh, medicinal benefits. So this is a truly a healthy herbal coffee. Um, so guys, give this coffee a try and let me know your feedback. So if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll be back with more cooking videos. Until then, happy cooking, take care and bye. So look at the snow capped grill. So this is the first heavy snow showers we are having. It's so beautiful and white and magical. Look at all the flower pots.